Uh, hi, I'm Andrew Noble and I'm the director of the Water, Land and Ecosystem CRP that is led by, by EMI. I'm going to take a few moments today just to talk to you about the program and where the program is at the moment. I think the starting point when we look at food production globally is that we've been terribly successful in actually feeding a population of 7 billion people. And I do strongly believe we can do the next, what I would say, hard yards in feeding a global population of 9 billion to 11 billion as estimated in, uh, by the turn of the century. But when we look at the production systems and the food production systems that we've used to produce this incredible amount of food, there have been some negative externalities. And we have to be quite clear and I think acknowledge that the environment has actually uh, been influenced by the way we, we do agriculture. And I think the essence that WLE is all about is saying we've got to change that. We've got to change it to a point where effectively agriculture does not impact on the environment but becomes essentially a partner in the environment. And we see agricultural ecosystems and the ecosystem services that landscapes, basins, provide us are critical for human well-being into the future. So our mantra is one of which we see ecosystems as fundamental to a change or a paradigm shift in the way we will do agriculture in the future. In WLE, we, we have 11 centers and FAO as, as partners, and they bring to the program a tremendous amount of expertise that can address and essentially move us along that pathway of sustainability and resilience. WLE works at a range of scales, but we focus predominantly at a national or regional scale right up to a basin through to a global scale. And, and, and that's probably quite unique about WLE as a CRP, is that we transgress the scales from individual farmers right through to global issues. And looking at basins as being a fundamental organizing uh, structure uh, within uh, WLE. We have tremendous amount of work going on in the program, all of it contributing to this overall focus of sustainability, resilience and using ecosystems. The presentation that I've made at ICRISAT over the past few days gives you a flavour of some of the work that we're doing that ranges from looking at the role of big data in informing decision makers and decision making processes this will become critical as we move forward into the future through to context-specific solutions to the challenges that we have, right down to what is probably a unique component of WLE, which is looking at the role of peri-urban agriculture in feeding uh, the large urban communities that will emerge over the next two to three decades. So some of the big, you could say, issues that we're dealing with, with is in India here, we're looking at solar crops. How do we use solar pumps effectively to address crop production, but also potentially supply electricity into the grid system? We have a huge opportunity here in India of addressing this looming problem of energy. Right through to looking at gender disaggregated issues at a basin scale, identifying clearly where there are gender hotspots, where we can target gender related issues in a far more strategic manner. Right down to looking at benefit sharing, looking at incentive based approaches whereby you can get far better equitable outcomes to communities and looking at equity as a key driver in the way we look at resource use. So 
I would encourage you to, to have a look at the presentation and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to come and, and talk to WLE. And I would remind you of our blog, the WLE blog, which is a great information and talk fest for most of us. Thanks.